So this is an explanation of the relationship between the work done on a spring or work done by a spring uh, eventually in relationship to the distance it is either compressed or stretched. So for that, first we need to know the relationship between the force and the distance compressed or stretched because work is determined by the force where force or force times distance times cosine of theta is equal to work. And we found that to be linear in class with force is equal to k x, where x is the distance stretched or compressed. And based on this, we know that the amount of force applied is somewhere on this line. Now we can draw a representation of this with a spring. And say at this distance it is relaxed. So D1 is relaxed. And then if you were to stretch it out to say, well, that's a bad drawing, but it's the best I can do. D2, difference being x, we know that the force, ch the changing force, I guess, is equal to k x. Now to get it from d1 to d2 you have to apply, you have to gradually apply more and more force to the spring to get it from d1 to d2. Which means you not only have to apply force to get it directly from d1 to d2 but also the amount of force come like from d1 to every point between d1 and d2 which is basically like taking a second der a derivative in calculus or an integral in calculus, my bad where you take increasingly small proportions to find the area under a curve which is what we will do with the graph to find the total amount of work done with this being force applied and this being the distance compressed or stretched. Now, relating this back to integrals, you find the area of something underneath the curve. You know, f is equal to kx. So, the final answer would be whatever the area was underneath a certain point in on the graph because you not like again to specify it's not because it's because you have to take every point you not only have to stretch it from just d1 to d2 but also f but on every point between d1 and d2 so you'd have to stretch it you have to apply the same amount of force to stretch it to d3, d4, d5, d6, d7, d8, d9, etc. All summed up to get the force needed to get from d1 to d2. And you're applying ever increasing uh, amounts of force to change the distance stretched and or compressed, in this case stretched, by very tiny amounts until you get from d1 to d2. So that is represented by the area underneath the curve here. And because we know it's a triangle and that this is linear, we can just find whatever x is on the graph and whatever f x is, which is a kx. So just multiply it out. It's kx times x, and then divide by two because it's the area of a triangle to get. K X squared.
squared over 2 as the value for work.